To be honest, I didn't expect our scam exposed series to even make it to episode 2. But here we are. Because yet another so called Thunderbolt 5 eGPU dock has popped up on Kickstarter. And it looks fake. So, yes, we are stepping in again. This time, the campaign claims to offer a next generation Thunderbolt 5 plus MXM GPU dock, named Thunderbursts. Sounds impressive, right? But we found something suspicious. It might just be the same team behind the GVDS scan. If you haven't seen our last video, go check it out. In short, GVDS has raised over $390,000 on Kickstarter using the exact same PCB board and products photos from our Humber 2 Thunderbolt eGPU. That's something we have been selling in China since 2022. Now back to Thunderbursts. The software interface is issue, the same as GVDS. Window layout, file names, all identical. At our previous video dropped, one of the backers actually asked about this in Thunderbursts comment section. What's their reply? They said, SolidWorks automatically adds certain properties to the part names. Come on, anyone with basic software knowledge knows that's not how default naming works. If that's really the case, then wow, SolidWorks must be a genius. Not only can it tell you are designing a dock just from the drawings, it also magically learns the word eGPU and even thoughtfully helps you label it V1 and V2. These are personal habits, or worse, standard practices from the same team. Okay, now let's be fair. If they had really turned over a new leaf and wanted to make a real product, We'd actually welcome that, but unfortunately, that's not what's happening here. Behind all the buzzwords is a mountain of red flags. Not only are there serious technical concerns, but everything about this smells like GVIDIA 2.0. Sure, they are using new accounts, but nothing else feels new. They claim it's built around Intel's GHL9480 Thunderbolt controller. Sounds good, but here's the catch. Every photo carefully avoids showing the actual chip. No clear shot, no proof, nothing. And what about the angles issue? They perfectly match all Thunderbolt 3 MXM GPU dogs that already exist. In short, what they do show isn't new, and what they don't show, that's what really matters. And here's another thing. In their product video, we have reason to doubt what we are seeing. They show the Thunderbolt dog connected to a 1X player X1 Mini handheld. On the surface, it looks like they are using the upper USB 4 port for Thunderbolt 5 cable and eGPU dock. But look closely, there's another USB 4 cable plugged into the bottom port. Why do they need two cables, when a single Thunderbolt 5 port already handles both power and data? There's no reason to use the second cable. But what if the top one is just for shoe? It raises the question, was the eGPU actually running through the other port connected to a different device entirely? Hard to say for sure, but it's definitely suspicious. And in their unboxing video, they made a technical mistake. A mistake that's exactly the same as what Javidia did, which only adds to the questions around this project. Here's the issue. The Intel GHL9480 controller only supports one PCI Express 4.0 for line. Just one. But Thunderbolt claims that their dock can run an internal RTX 4090 laptop GPU and a high-speed SSD hitting 7000 megabits per second. That's simply not possible with the single GHL9480 chip. There's not enough PCI Express bandwidth to go around. And get this, on their Kickstarter page, they compare Thunderbolt to 1X GPU 2. Now, 1X GPU 2 is a real eGPU project. Its specifications are clear. The GPU is active on the PCI Express bus, the SSD is using USB 10 GB per second bus. Basically, PCI Express 3.0 1 performance. That's straight from the official 1X GPU 2 site. Why? Because that's what the Thunderbolt controller is actually compatible of. And that's how a real product behaves. So, when one project shows realistic limitations and the other promises everything all at once, with no trade offs, it makes you wonder what's really going on here? They say it's a full-featured Thunderbolt 5 MXM GPU dock. They say it's only going to cost this much. But we've crunched the numbers, sorting parts right here in China, and guess what? The math doesn't check out. Not even close. 
And that's before international shipping or customer support costs. Let's be generous for one moment. If we are wrong, this might just be the most generous charity project in the history of the EV GPU world. In the GVIDIA case, we have hard evidence. They copied our Hummingbird 2 design, same PCB layout, same ports, same engineering flaws. They didn't just clone our product, they also lied about the specifications to the backers. This time, we'll admit, we don't have physical proof yet, but the pattern is loud and clear. So many red flags, so many unanswered questions, so many promises that simply don't make sense financially. Backers, please pause and think before paying. As of now, the campaign has about two weeks left, and it's already raised over 220,000 from more than 320 backers. We truly want to see the eGPU space grow, we welcome real innovation, we support healthy competition, but we also help future makers build real products, not one and done scams that vanish after cashing in. We are Magic Link, the original creators of the Hummingbird eGPU dog series. Since 2022, we have been shipped tens of thousands of reliable Thunderbolt eGPU dogs across China. And after seeing our designs get copied overseas, we decided enough. In 2025, we are entering the global market ourselves. Right now, we are working on a real next generation Thunderbolt 5 eGPU dock. It will launch on Kickstarter in the next one to two months. Follow our channel for deep tech dives, product updates, and well, more scam exposes if we have to. Let's make this industry better together.